I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share with you some exciting news about the future of satellite mobile broadband internet. So just this morning, um, fresh off the triumphant success of the Falcon Heavy launch, SpaceX launched two new uh, exciting prototypes into orbit, uh, the Microsat 2A and 2B, and they're actually calling them um, Tintin 1 and Tintin 2. These are the first two prototype Starlink communication satellites um, for SpaceX's proposed global broadband satellite internet service. Now, these are just two prototypes, but it's a, uh, the first actual real steps in orbit of a really exciting vision. If you consider, there are only 1,400 operational satellites currently in orbit in the entire world. Um, SpaceX, in this constellation alone, is planning to launch 800 satellites for phase one, ramping up to 4,425 satellites after that, and then actually um, adding several thousand more at even lower orbits to build basically just think of them as flying cell towers overhead. Now, unlike traditional, um, most existing satellite internet systems that are in geostationary orbit thousands of miles above the equator, because the SpaceX Starlink system will be in such a low orbit, there won't be any latency issues. They're aiming for 20 millisecond latencies and gigabit speeds anywhere on Earth, and they're hoping their satellite system can be competitive with terrestrial broadband. That is a ridiculously ambitious vision, but when is it going to happen? Um, well, assuming these two prototypes work out well, the earliest the operational launches for the SpaceX Starlink system will could begin will be 2019, and the full network will not be deployed until 2024. So this is a, a, a long off vision for the future, but it is starting to happen. And well, SpaceX isn't the only company that is aiming to do this whole sort of next generation um, global broadband low earth orbit satellite constellations. Uh, Iridium has been upgrading the old Iridium Next, uh, the old Iridium constellation with the Iridium Next satellites. Um, major jump up, nothing super revolutionary, but they're halfway through that upgrade and they've uh, upgraded half of their 66 satellites already. Um, OneWeb is planning to start launching their own 800 satellite constellation beginning um, sometime in 2018 with service coming to Alaska as early as 2019 and the rest of the world several years later. And then uh, Telesat and Boeing both, both also have plans for these sort of massive constellation swarms. So nothing new, nothing to jump on today, but there's a lot to get excited about for the future of space mobile broadband. And um, it's definitely a fun time to be a space watcher to keep track of all this new technology. So keep your eyes to the sky.